Hey guys, crew blind with I'm Eric. Rick. I'm Eric. And we are back with Brooklyn Nine Nine. Last time on, the uh, new captain. Uh, we have a new captain, and then we got another new captain because we killed the other new captain. Poor captain. So we have two new captain. Yep. And that is Major Crimes. Major Crimes. What's his real name? Uh, I mean, it is now that nickname is the Vulture. It is the Vulture. Yeah, <laughs> his name's the Vulture. Bob. <laughs> What's his name? Oh, oh, are we waiting for the Vulture? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't so know. Just, just Sometimes I say stuff and hope you get spelled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't What's know. What's the actor's name, guys? His name. Yeah, uh, we lost uh, Seth Dozerman, but I mean, he his, his star shined bright, and he affected. Uh, it did. It did. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we also had uh, Jake and Amy. We. Uh, uh, they were mm, back together. Oh, I yeah. really hope we cut to Holt in that pigeon costume lecturing those kids. Really we had that as well going on with Wunch and the pigeon naming and the pigeon wearing. Pepper and I pigeon. do not have my own pigeon pants. He is the worst captain we've ever had. He drew boobies on my bulletproof vest. He stared at me for 90 seconds while he ate an entire peach. He heard that I speak Spanish and he made me fire his housekeeper. She was Polish. At least he doesn't <laughs> practice his crane kicks with you. What? Ah, oh. He said not to move. <laughs> Jake is going to befriend the vulture, so he lays off of us. Now somebody give me a puka shell necklace. I'm going full douche. <laughs> Robin Thicke. Oh, yeah. Gots to have my pooks. Gots to. And of course, most importantly, nip slips. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, Jake. You also like Okinawan martial arts because you left this in my back. Hmm? What I'm saying, Einstein, is that you stabbed me in my back. <laughs> How so? We came up with a plan. Jake is going to befriend the vulture. So uh, how do you get that? Man. Busted. I knew that you were faking it. I'll bet you don't even like nip slips. <laughs> so what, you bugged the briefing room? No, Scully butt dialed me yesterday and he still hasn't hung up. <laughs> so my Scully's butt is the downfall of this precinct. <laughs> I can learn to love nip slips. No, you either love them or you don't. It's too late. You dump Santiago or you kiss that detective badge goodbye. I would hate it if these doors opened and everyone stopped working to applaud us. Hmm. Huh. Nothing. You must be loving this. Yes. <laughs> Vulture, I must insist that you desist. I really think this is gonna work. Also, if you ever want to bust out that Holt impression at home, I'd be okay with that. Oh, okay. Duly noted. Super disturbing, but I'm definitely going to do it. Hey, They're good together. I got a fridge for my protein shakes. I got a kettlebell station. I got a wolf <laughs> that I killed in Utah. <laughs> I'm fairly certain that's a dog. <laughs> yeah, it was dark. Oh, my God. <laughs> So you probably heard Amy and I have been dating. And we would love your approval. No. <laughs> Everyone make a sad face. Scully, you are nailing it. My wife just texted. She's leaving me. Good. What? <laughs> now, anyone seen Captain Holt? He seemed a little down when he came in. Yeah, he let me choose the music on the way over here, which leads me to believe he's given up on life. I got to go find him. Now be respectful and grieve your asses off. I don't know why this is happening. Scully, I love it. Everyone follow his lead. <laughs> Poor Scully. Meet me there in 15 minutes. I'll meet you all right. M-E-A-T. Still think it's creepy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Charles, it is not like you to have sex with a total stranger. Really? Tell it to me in an hour when we've had sex 23 times. It's a lot, it's a lot of times. In, in an hour? You didn't even stop and snip the bouquet. You always snip the bouquet. And maybe the old Holt did, but the new Holt chugs Beaujolais from a burgundy glass without a care. <laughs> oh, it's a sauterne glass. <laughs> <laughs> The alcohol has rendered me a simpleton. Maybe you should just call it a day. I've been asked to deliver a toast here after the funeral. What? A message of hope. This is what I have so far. Pain. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Maybe you should lose the word pain and then get in the cab and go home. Maybe I will. One drink and then we go. One drink. What? <laughs> okay. 
What the? Ah, one second. Excuse me, could you stop playing that? Just trying to have a conversation. You think you could do better? Blow my back. Look, we just need a couple of minutes to chat. That's it. I'm not going to stop playing until you blow. Oh, Point proven. Yeah, I think I've heard just about enough of this cat fight. I'm out. Your boyfriend? Sorry, uh, your ex-boyfriend. Just pathetic. You should be glad that I ordered him to dump you. Swish. Kobe. Is your recording good? Got it. Yes! You're amazing! <laughs> How are you playing this? I don't know. That was We Are the Champions. <laughs> what? <laughs> Pretty much single handedly organized those things myself. So you were the one who brought all the prostitutes? Uh... Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> can we slow down? Why? Are you not into this? No, no, no. I, my friends are just in my head. They think it's weird that we don't know anything about each other. Mm, I think it's hot. Totally. I'm an only child. Not interested. I was born in Delaware. Who even asked you? Oh, I like men. I don't care what you like. She's a vegan! What is going on? You're right. I couldn't help myself. Oh, I wanted to know yeah. about her, and I got what I deserved. A vegan. A gluten-free vegan. Charles, you need to calm down. Laugh at me. Laugh! Laugh it up! Can I wait till after the funeral? Shh. Of course you can. Oh, man. Oh, that's, a, that's a good cringe, Aaron. This is terrible, terrible. Favorite mango yogurt got discontinued. Everything is garbage. <laughs> Everything is garbage. I should put that in my message of hope. That's a really good idea. I'm not the Coho King. My name is Jake, and your husband was only my captain for like a day. Wait a second. Are you the Jake that killed him? Uh... Nope. I'm prostitute Jake. <laughs> I love prostitutes. You need to go. You should leave right now. You need to leave right now. It's okay, Marky. Come on. Oh, Chief Garvin. No, 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 just, no, 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 no. no. I need to play uh, no. quick recording of my boss. You recorded me. That's not cool, Jake. Well, we were just taking a page out of your book. You're a beat cop again. I just crushed your dreams. But we just need a minute to think. <laughs> and now for a message of hope. Ah, a message of hope. Right on time. Everything is garbage. Oh, I know. You find something you care about, and it's taken from you. Your colleague, your dream job, your mango yogurt. Ooh! Never love anything what the hell that's the lesson to captain dozerman captain dozerman thank you sir i'll take it from here very poetic and sure there may be obstacles him having passed away for example but i'm not giving up on us and i don't care if i get demoted i just care about being with you and if i made you a third toast uh, it'll be focused primarily on the mango yogurt. Oh, <laughs> Don't boo me. I lost something important too. Shoo. 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 <laughs> I fixed your problem with the vulture. Really? I may just be a guy in PR, but what does the vulture love more than anything? Garbage pail kids? No. Publicity. PR. Captain Pembroke, how would you like your face on the NYPD website? Really? Yes! Yes! In exchange for media attention, the vulture will not bust you down or stand in the way of you two dating. Anything for the 9-9. Thank you, sir. <laughs> he totally approves of us. What you doing there, Boyle? Trying to get drunk enough to have sexual intercourse with a vegan. Oh, why can't I just think with my junk like a modern man? Why do you want to do that? I got divorced and I was crushed. My fiance left, I cried for weeks. But which of those relationships made you happiest before it ended? My marriage? You can't go through life trying not to get hurt. You should try to be happy. So you think I should look for someone I can have emotional intercourse with? Uh, I wish you hadn't said it like that, but yeah. And I should start right here at this funeral. Mm, probably wait. Nope. Put on your sunglasses. Let me see if there's anything in my teeth. Oh, yeah. Charles Boyle, you ready for love? Well, never worn these again. Very <laughs> <laughs> long. Ah, uh, the funeral. Scully's wife is leaving him. Yeah, with a text message. She well, texted text her. Message. Hey, I'm leaving you. I'm leaving your ass. Well, where, 
When did that message come through? Because he was on the phone with the captain for a day. With the vulture for so long. Yeah. And what's her name? I don't know. What was it supposed to be? Kelly? The dog, yeah, the dog, right? Kelly. But I think. Yeah. yeah. The dog or the wife, we don't know. Right. <sighs> we don't know. Man, I thought this was going to be like about, the episode was going to be about uh, Peralta going full douche. And yeah. having to act a, like a douche the whole time. And that Dropped got nipped in the quick. butt yeah. pretty quick. I mean, what does the butt. vulture always do, though? Get nipped in the butt. <laughs> Nip slip. Um, what does the vulture always do to their cases or anything they try? He always comes in and ruins it at the last second. He did it a couple times this episode, you know? True, yeah. yeah. Vultured their plans. I like how the bagpipe guy was seemingly working with him. That's hilarious. I, yeah, so I hope he wasn't. I hope that he's just like a vindictive, people will love me playing. I mean, to be fair, like, if he's performing, like, you gotta warm up. Sure. I, I feel like he's in the right there. Me too. Yeah. I love that. I think uh, that he waited, though, to say, like, I gotta think, and then he did it. Yeah, well, he did. He did that, and then he said, "Hey, can you do that?" And he's like, "All right." And he didn't give him a, like a minute. Like as soon as Peralta started like talking again, he like started going back in again. And it was like, "All right." I also like Peralta. It's like his detective side of things. Yeah. Him being like with the with the VIP guard. <laughs> like he's like a bouncer. So he's like, no, I know. Well, I've never seen that in a funeral. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> But um, but no, his like looking at different clues, we would have convinced yeah, himself. Yeah, the better. whole like I saw a fisherman trip. I saw you know the lake they were at and you know, coho, coho, which is a type of fish I know, you know. Yeah. And I just love him being like, oh yeah, I used to like I like plan those trips. You brought the prostitutes. <laughs> He's like, uh, no, no. Um, I actually I only worked with him for a day. I was, I'm Jake. You're the Jake that killed him. No, I'm the prostitute. I'm Jake. prostitute Jake. <laughs> <laughs> I like prostitutes. Uh, I love that so much. Holt dealing with like his sadness was hey. interesting. I've seen that gift so many times. People Pain. like to use that, like, well, how do you, how'd that make you feel? And people will share that gift. Pain. Pain! Pain! Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, it was just interesting seeing him go through, like, losing the 9-9. And yeah. I think he half expected to walk through those elevator doors and people clap at him. It's like, yeah. I bet you're loving this, right? I am. I mean, being a captain on the precinct was his dream, you know? Like, he worked so hard to get there, and it was taken away. And now he has to watch this guy squander it. With his kettlebells. In his dead wolf. <laughs> that, I'm pretty sure that is a dog. Hey, it was dark. He, he still said he, he said, dark. Yeah, he said yeah, oh, that he was did. dark. As if, like, well, I thought it was a wolf, but he's still having it stuffed. <laughs> yeah. There was a moment when something was said, and I laughed too hard to see what the next part was. Maybe that was it. Yeah. Or maybe it was something else. Yeah, I, I saw it in the subtitles, but I didn't hear it. Yeah, he was laughing too hard. It, it, it was dark. Oh man, but him like drinking and talking about like I don't care what kind of glass I'm drinking out of kind of things. Like, oh wait, that's not a. Oh <laughs> man, a... I forget. It might have been that line, but it was in that scene. Like Holt's elocution is like the way he pronounces words. Yeah, is so good. It's so good. It's amazing. Look, the alcohol has turned me into a simpleton. <laughs> Or rendered, I think he said, rendered me a simpleton. And then him comparing, like, uh, Jake's speech to the, our, our, uh, well, education system. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. I, uh, I really think that, like, when Jake and Amy got together here, like, I always thought that they were, like, they had good chemistry, like, the two actors, but I think it, like, ramps up when they're together. There's just something about the way that they play, like, like, Jake... He, he's into her being like, you know, the, the Holt voice, you know? He maybe want to use that Holt voice yeah. in the bedroom. But he also, Holt like, voice. can play off the, like, well, you won't love this plan because then you'll be lying to your captain. She's like, oh, you're right, you know? Yeah. Like, he knows her really well, though they still have that spark and energy. <laughs> and she's like, we would love your approval. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to that Holt. great, too. And then, yeah, Boyle's, um, like, connection with Lieutenant Cy, I think it was. Or? Yeah, I can't uh, remember. Shoot. I think he could have used it, but... But Got to know her too well. Yeah. Delaware. At first I thought, like, man, you know, they ruined it for him. Yeah. But <laughs> Trying to get <laughs> drunk enough to bang a vegan. That was what his goal was. The <laughs> funeral line. hookup. You know? Well, he could have just, I don't know, it was interesting. Like, he, he didn't have to be any more than what he had there. He could have just, like, they could have had sex. It was He had sex with a vegan, and then he's done, you know? So here's the next funeral. <laughs> it's a weird hookup time. I'm pretty sure that, like, in terms of, like, hookup times, weddings and funerals are, like, the top ones. I don't think funerals are that weird. 
it, it's kind of like uh, like celebrate Jane, life. Uh, Jane in um, the episode of Firefly. Yeah. Right. Like he starts working out after like, they experience death, mm-hmm. and it's like the celebration of life. Yeah. Because you see death, mm-hmm. kind of thing. You know. I think it all just depends on who you're getting with. If it's with the widow, it's weird. <laughs> probably not what you should do sure if you're at the wedding and you're with the bridesmaids that happens a lot because the bridesmaids maybe aren't getting married they can't wait for them to get married love's in the air if it's with the bride it's probably not good either you know (laughs) it's interesting because Boyle seems like the kind of guy though he'll accept everybody like he's he's generally nice but but like the one thing he hit was the vegan thing I don't think that would like break because he has such an appreciation for taste and he's taking away so much I guess so yeah that's his one weird not one weird thing but his major weird thing is food true (laughs) whenever Jake is like Amy and I were talking and he's like we were talking last night he's like ooh cuddle time whatever tell us spooning not spooning (laughs) he's like set the stage (laughs) Spooning or face to face? Yeah, spooning or face to face. Like, yeah. why are you so interested in this? <laughs> it's, okay. it's like a vicarious living yeah, through Jake. Well, it is, but he also just he roots for them too. Yeah. It's not necessarily he's vicarious. He just I, mean, I agree that he kind of is, but like I think that he's such a, a friend that he's like he's like being a shipper in real life. Well, he does the same thing for Rosa too. Yeah. Like he ran out that bar. Yeah, you know? sure. He's just he's like the ultimate friend, but yeah, he does place himself inside that a little too much. But having the captain, the captain's one of the train, train, uh, crane kicks with him. And he just kicked him right in the chest. I, I said, told move. you not to move. Dude, his one line, too, where it's like, what do you know about? Did he say Okinawan martial arts? Okinawan yeah. martial yeah. arts. I, pull, I pulled this from my back. You know, like, <laughs> he had to, like, set that up to I be know. able to have his eye. I'm thinking the, crane kick, Okinawan, this, and, 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 man. I was like, where's he going with this? Like, why is he asking this question? I know. Does he want to do martial arts with Jake? And he's like, pulled him to the side. And I'm like, what? Like, he had to go get that side to have that ready, you know? He's waiting, just waiting for it. I guess he would be the guy that has the side ready. Yeah. I mean, there was a lot of great, like, douchey things that he did. But my favorite is the stuffed on. Because it's like, yeah. not only did he kill it, because it was dark, but he stuffed yeah. it. And, and he has it. Yeah. And, I mean, Graham, we've had him now. He's putting it in his office. Like, the end of last episode, you know, in the end of this episode, he's still around. But like, he works really well as a guest star. Like, that as the entire show would be too much. Sure. But yeah. like, bringing him in is, is similar to a lot of the different things. We I'm have. really curious on what they're gonna do because at least Holt is still around. Yeah. But there's other shows I've seen where like when they have like a boss leave and then yeah. they're trying to fill that hole, things just don't feel the same, you know. Yeah. So I'm interested to see what they do with it. If if Holt ends up getting back his dream, kind of mm-hmm. like the Peralta speech, you know, like when you yeah. hit adversity, don't give up on your dreams. He's well, like, kinda, he, yeah, you're not giving up on your dream, so I'm going to help you with it. The 9-9, I'm going to cover the help of the squad. Mm-hmm. Like, will he come back and become a captain again? And if so, how or what? Or I mean, it's the, little, lunch or the little victory of at least being able to say that those two can still be together. And I don't know if they addressed the taking away of the detective thing or not. I mean, uh, they did. He said that um, too, right? He traded the captain being on the website for the, the two of them being to, able to be to together. To leave him alone. Let them be together. Let them... Okay, like so he's not de- being demoted down. To I, I don't think so. Okay. No, that was, otherwise there was no point of the, the yeah, website. Yeah, true. And it's only been a week. Yeah. So like uh, six days. We've yeah. had, well, yeah, because Gina was like, you know, I've only been gone a week, so what's the, you know, yep. the, Jake and Amy killed the captain and stuff like that. So from the end of season two to this episode, we've had like a, a seven year day kind of span. Yeah. What happened to Scully's relationship in those six days? What to find out? I imagine. I mean, he met his wife at an orgy, right? Was that him or was that the other guy? No, that was him. That was him. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. Hitchcock is the other. No, guy. Well, it wasn't like outside an orgy or something. Like he wasn't in the. No, orgy. he wasn't in. Yeah. Yeah, it was outside. She had yeah. been in the. Orgy. She was at the right. orgy, and he, he met her there. Yeah. <laughs> Not that he was involved. <laughs> my, my wife is leaving me. Yes, use it. That moment there. <laughs> so good, good job, Scully. What did Bryce do at PR? That like Bryce is a stupid face. Like who's I don't Bryce? remember which one Bryce was. Yeah. I wonder what Bryce did. He must have been one of the naming guys. Maybe he was too, he's too familiar with him or something. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe he wouldn't wear the pigeon suit. Maybe. Um, no lunch this time. Yeah. No lunch. I guess she's back to her cold drip. She's got to be doing something. Her cold drip. Back <laughs> under the house. Back to tending her cold drip. Under the house she crawled out from. <laughs> the land of Oz. What did you think of uh, Jake's impression? It's getting much better. Much better than last time. Oh, yeah. Better than before? Much better than before. Yeah. 
that. So if you, you have to use a Holt quote in bed, what do you go for? Sarcasm is a total lie. Yeah, that's not bad. <laughs> Hot damn! Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine with us. Uh, make sure you go over to patreon.com slash blindwave. It's a fantastic way to support if you watch what we do. Uh, also, you can get up to four uh, weeks early access. Not just a Brooklyn Nine-Nine, but at every catch-up show that we do. All of them. Four weeks right now. you got a lot of watching.